Hello everybody, this is Fuse Stopper, and welcome back to more Shovel Knight King of Cards. I almost forgot the name. Um, in between recordings, I edited my deck, yada yada yada, blah blah blah, let's get into a level. And the main mechanic of this level, if you couldn't tell, is the giant slimy blocks that have you bounce, bounce, bouncing away. I don't know why I'm super hyped today. I, I, like, oh. Well, maybe I should tone my hype down if that's going to be the results I get this video. No, but all you're really doing in this level is bouncing with, honestly, like, my favorite mechanic. Because I love the freaking spin mechanic in this game. And just making that a whole level based on it is amazing. I mean, there's not much else I can say about it. It's, um, well, I I'm hyping it up a whole lot. All, all you're really doing is just let's use a relic because I don't want to deal with BS right now. Uh oh. Yeah, all you're really doing is literally just bouncing on gelatin. You're not even doing anything that different from like other campaigns. Like, this isn't the first campaign to introduce bouncing gelatin. This, this is the first one that makes it really fun. Except for when they do that. Yeah, so maybe at every point we shouldn't just bounce on gelatin. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, I thought that guy was gonna like knock me into the lava or some stupid crap like that. So let's get rid of all this, because that's disgusting. Disgusting, horrible, outrageous. Um, blah, 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 other stuff that's not fun. Yeah, I don't... No! Okay, so we... I don't... Well, I say we like you guys were part of it. No. I don't plan on screwing this up this time. No, it was your guys' fault that I had to die there. Absolutely. Okay, so what we got here... Is a little bouncy platform. Yep, that's all it is. A bouncy plat. No, you just bounce on the firefish. Get through the secret area. Bam, bam, secrets. Got them. Got who, you may ask? Got them. Got them. That's who I got. I, I'm making less and less sense as I go through this fucking series. Like, I swear, one day I'm just like... I'm just like, oh my god, Shovel Knight, it's so amazing, I love this game. The next, I'm like, bagels. I've never said bagels once on this channel. You know what? That's that's gonna be a new thing. You know what? Leave a comment below. What's your favorite type of bagel? And if you don't like bagels, what's your favorite type of donut? And if you don't like either, then what what do you like to eat for breakfast? Like some, some cereal? Like, maybe, are you a Captain Crunch fan? Maybe you just don't eat breakfast? You, you should, honestly, but if you don't, I, I don't judge. I know for the longest time I never ate breakfast. Terrible decisions, but I can't say I haven't been in that point in my life. Uh-oh. Alright, so let's not speed run this, because, you know, take your time, kids. A unless you're ready right away, then you don't necessarily need to take your time. Just, you don't always have to speed through things in life. Okay, patience is a virtue, children. Ignore the fact that I lost a lot of gold. Patience is a virtue. And that's strange. Why are we going back? A benediction is then chanted, which beckons fortune to smile on the new monarch. And that's how it's done. I never dreamed the coronation could be so complex. My boy certainly has a lot to learn about being a king. Your son is full of potential. My task as a ruler is to ensure he can flourish in safety and comfort. Heavens, what they say is true. You're as noble as you are dashing. I, er, I, I shouldn't say that. My dear, perish the thought. My nobility can be a curse. While I am the king, I desire most to be a man. Ah, there you are. Impeccable timing, King Pridemore was just saying we're approaching the Trouple Pond. Yes, yes, the pond. Yes, of course, the Trouple Pond. We were just a word, if you would, my boy. Some advice. Heed it well. 
you seek victory, the Trouble King is far less tolerant of disrespect than I am. Listen to King Pride more, darling. Thanks to him, we're drawing close to the Trouble King. My gratitude for the support, milady. Your mother and I are together as one in this matter. What do you mean you're together as one? Mother, what does he mean? Stay away from him. Let's hold steady and keep our heading straight. Remember, be respectful to the second Jousts judge. Okay, so it seems King Knight doesn't really like his mom. Chill him with King Pride more. So let's, okay, let's stop. We're going to continue on, because really, besides that short little cutscene announcing that we're at the Trapple Pond, there's not really a whole lot we're doing here. We just have access to where the Trapple King is going to be. But we got some other business to attend to. Like this pest. Hey, look, let's dig. Somebody didn't read the no diving sign and you broke the lost hot tub during my only break. Pa, it's beneath my royal rank to read rules, commoner. I prefer to speak and be obeyed. Down here, I am the foreman and I make the rules and the rules are posted for a reason. In my caves, when you act high and mighty, you get brought down to earth. Okay, big talk from the big man. Let's, let's take this guy out. I mean... I can't remember what special di gimmick he does in this, because I know all the bosses have a new special gimmick to them. I do know one thing, though. It's still Mole Knight. Oh, yeah, he becomes green and spongy. Now he likes to bounce and go from... Create a bouncing environment. I don't know what I was... I honestly... See, this boss, I feel like, is actually made, like pretty dang difficult because the bouncing mechanic is just so annoying it's just a shame he doesn't keep it for that long oh well oh well still pretty easy but it's a little bit more tedious to take him down at the end of the day it's still just mole knight i say let's tackle this level up here here. I don't know. It's leading to a secret. I kind of want to tackle that secret by the end of the episode today. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we're just storming another familiar location. See, and if you couldn't tell already, so many... I, I mentioned this before, how you could just skip so much of this game if you just want to speed run straight to the end. Like... As you saw, we don't have to do a single, spoiler alert, Plague Knight level in order to actually get to the final boss. Like, we literally could just go straight to um, the Trapple King and skip skip out on all these levels. Now, real question, if you had the time to do the levels, why the hell would you? And second question, are, is it really worth skipping out on these just so you could have like a shorter game? I mean... I know in today's day and age, it's always you want to beat these games as fast as possible, like, so you have time to play more games. But the biggest problem is, then you're missing out, like, some of the levels you don't have to do in this game are so much better than the ones you have to do. So why would you just not take, like, maybe an extra five hours and just play through all the special levels and find a secret exit, like this? I think it's a common trend. The secret exits always just tend to be where... Well basically where the checkpoint is so you know once you get to the first checkpoint you don't have to go that much further to find the secret exit which i guess is cool i i still wish you just after finding the secret you just went back to the checkpoint but oh well it didn't take us that long to get to that checkpoint i've said it a million times before how i don't want don't really like that mechanic so i don't know why i keep repeating it well, I know why I keep repeating it, because I really don't... Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, we're back. Um, we got... Not dying in the secret area for once. Yeah, I don't like how close the walls are. 
when you're trying to do like a secret like this. Oh well, we weren't. It kind of pissed me off how close we actually were to the secret. Which leads us to going back into the level because we didn't get all the medals. See you back at the checkpoint. See, it wasn't that far, even though it only took you like two seconds to actually see it. Well, yeah, something around there. Yeah, this version of Michael doesn't know what happened. For all I know, like, editing Michael could have put, like, some hentai or something in between. I don't know. Oh, God, he did that, didn't he? God, fucking editing Michael is such a pervert. Wait a second. If I insult editing Michael, I'm insulting myself. <gasps> oh, well. See, I hate taking out that slime enemy, because unless you get, like, consecutive bounces on him, it just, it takes so much hits to the point where I don't find it worth it to even go after him. Okay. Wow, secret money. Who would have thought? Of, of course. Okay, we're back, and this time hopefully not dying a tragic, untimely death, because... Although I made it seem easy to actually get to this point, and it actually probably is easy, I kept on freaking dying trying to get back here. Also, are we missing a medal? Because I don't want to end the level when we're like right at the end. Yeah, we're missing one. Yeah, so I'm going to backtrack a bit and see if we can find this, because I don't want to freaking end this level. Okay. Oh, Okay, so what you're actually supposed to do is you're supposed to know that when you come down here, you actually gotta go to the left and look, there's a whole secret area. I actually don't think I found this on my first playthrough. Like, actually, when, like half a year ago, I don't think I found this. So, I won't say it's bullshit per se, but I'll definitely say you gotta be thinking. Okay, the freaking cut back to exit. Okay, we're finally at the end. We jumped, bam, there we go. We got it. Yeah, one thing I learned is don't be an idiot like me. Use your heirlooms to actually... Oh. We'll deal with them in a minute. He ain't going anywhere. Hello, gold one. How are you? Are you here foraging apples too? If so, beware the giant fish. We pilfered them against his wish. Oh, we're rhyming now? Are we? <clears throat> I'm neither here to snack nor snatch. I dare to say he's met a match. No fish or fruit shall stem my tide, for I am King Knight. Step aside. Trust me, pal. You don't want to anger an immortal ancient like the Tropical King. He looks like this. Yeah, we get the Tropical King card. Well, maybe add them later. And on all sides, we got treasure. Like a level 2 mystery card, which just gives you a generic card. See, this is why I don't really get the mystery cards. Because I feel like the exclusive cards, if you get them through your battles, they're just so much more practical. Right here, we got more treasure. Like another mystery card, which is... Yeah. Like, you see what I mean? Like, I, I want to consider that, like, a pretty good card. Also, I didn't mention this flower. We'll probably get to a level that has that as more of a central mechanic. Keep that in mind for later. But before we wrap things up, let's take down another little pest in our way. Percy, I'm telling you, this location is too exposed. Your calculations cannot be correct. Fear not, friend. Our secret laboratory lies beyond even the most eager eyes. I've made doubly sure. Oh no, like I said, <laughs> we're not alone. I can't be seen. Handle this, Percy, and don't blow it. Prancing parabolas, how'd you get in here? One would use the open door, would one not? Hey, speaking of a jar, is that a decanter behind you? Don't look at that. This place is secret. You can't be here. But now Percy's on deck. It's my big moment! Who fat you, eavesdropper? And we get a special brand new fight against Percy, not Plague Knight. Something nice and different. I mean, it's really not 
that difficult. He'll just throw a bunch of potions, big, small. He'll run, jump around. He'll sometimes disappear like that. And he actually uses a lot of the homemade potions that Plague Knight has that he doesn't use in Plague Knight's typical battle. So, I guess if someone's going to use Plague Knight's unique style, it's Percy. Ugh, you've made such a mess this time, Percy. But as usual, I'll clean up after you. <laughs> And we get the actual fight with Plague Knight. It's just a fight with Plague Knight, except... I was gonna say he doesn't blow up the floor, but here he is blowing up the floor. Same fight that you've had in nearly... I say nearly, but literally every campaign. Because you even fought him in Plague Knight. For a minute, but you fought him there. So let's just take this guy out. I, I don't like this guy's face. He... You're the worst Shovel Knight campaign. Got him. Oh, and he'll bring Percy with him. That's cute, if it wasn't so stupid. Yeah, yeah, I just called Percy stupid. No. I mean, he is, but he's like the best character in that campaign. Oh, well. Plague Knight goes down without a hitch. And we find that we took out Plague Knight in a, not gonna lie, rather underwhelming fight. But because this video is getting a little bit long, we're gonna have to save these last couple levels for next time. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.